We haven't done a bonus clip in a, in a little while, but um, for this uh, video, we are going to add a clip of making cooked chicken because there are a few techniques and a few things that you'll want to know when a recipe calls for cooked chicken. Um, the first of them is, you know, you're going to want to go ahead and use some kind of oil and saute the chicken. Or, I mean, you could do this anyway, really. You could roast it. You could bake it. Um, we're sauteing it for this video. Uh, the important thing here is that you always want to season your chicken. It doesn't matter if the recipe doesn't say to season it. At least use salt and pepper, which is what I use here. Um, and then, you know, depending on what the rest of the recipe is, you may want to use some other things. If I do use something else in a recipe that calls for cooked chicken, I will let you know, and I'll let you know how it turns out. But I did salt and pepper with this, uh, and it turned out really good. The chicken was a little bit, had a little bit of extra flavor to it. If you just throw in cooked chicken with no seasoning on it, no spices on it, it will be extremely bland, and it will make your dish way more bland than you want it to be. So, you know, make sure that you season your chicken. So, um, then, you know, you're just, you're going to want to have uh, medium to high heat here. Uh, you are going to want to cover your pan at some point to let your chicken cook um, on the inside as well as the outside. So, that is um, something that, you know, you can do that um, right from the beginning essentially and then you know you'll still want to turn it at some point so that you kind of get that browning on the outside. I, I uh, kept the lid off so that you guys could see it cook a little bit and see me season the other side there. Um, you can season your chicken either when it's cooking and it will have a little bit less seasoning on it because the seasoning won't necessarily stick as well or you can season it before you cook it, in which case you'll get more flavor on there. So depending on what you're using it for, using it for, in this case, I didn't need it to be very extremely flavorful and it ended up being really good. The soup was, was um, absolutely wonderful. So, you know, you're gonna just let it cook a little bit longer and then here I'm gonna cut into it, look at the inside. The inside was not cooked at all. Um, so that's where I'm gonna throw the lid on and let it cook the rest of the way. 